watch what's going on guys well you know what it's almost February here in Arizona and uh, I thought I'd give you a little tour of what's growing on in the yard and what's not growing on in the yard we uh, we got hit with some major major frost and freeze these are grapevines so they're meant to uh, they're meant, meant to die back like this but uh, big old jalapeno pepper he got it hard there's another grape another jalapeno but uh, these are on their fourth year, so I'm going to rip them out anyways, so we didn't protect them. But I just want to show you a little bit about the, uh, the freeze um, and the frost and what it did. And uh, certain microclimates, you know, it got a lot colder over here than what it said uh, on the news. So I just want to show you kind of what, what grew and what didn't. And uh, here is called a creeping fig, totally unaffected by the cold. Um, supposed to call up walls real good. Uh, we don't have anything growing on in this garden bed right now. Um, just a little bit of the whatever grows up on its own kind of thing right now. Oh, looks like somebody got lunch. There's a bird in there. <laughs> um, so we make our way around right here and you can see this is a uh, Cape Honeysuckle. And uh, yeah, they got hit pretty good by the frost. Now, I didn't protect any of these plants. There's a uh, blue agave, did just fine. No big deal. Right, we work our way over here to the spruce cactus, the pine cone cactus. Looking good, didn't get affected by any of the frost or freezing temperatures. Um, this is a tangelo tree, and it, uh, it made it out okay. It got burnt a little bit, not too bad. Um, let's see, I don't have anything but some old sunflowers growing in this one right now. And this is more grapes, so that's no big deal. Uh, we had some tomatoes and uh, some other odds and ends in here. I knew they would go. But uh, look at this, man, the elephant food. Ed pretty much took a dive. There's a little bit of life still there, but man, let me show you. That's three years of growth right there to get them to get that long. Let me show you the oh well here totem pole cactus did just fine. Let's see here you go. Look at this is sad. It took three years to get that to grow all the way to the ground like that, and uh, it might come back. Obviously, I'm gonna leave it alone. Not gonna pull it. Uh, another totem pole cactus did great. Uh, Mother-in-law tongues. They were hurting anyways. Looks like they got burnt, but they're not dead. It's a grapevine, no big deal. Another mother-in-law tongue. That plant was already uh, dead. Ponytail palm. But you can see here, there's a nice ponytail palm right here. Totally unaffected. Very uh, good plant then for the frost, freeze, freezing temperatures and all that. Here, let me get back here on the navel orange. Pretty much unaffected. Little leaf drop. Uh, okay, rosemary, no big deal at all. A little cactus here, not affected. All right, Lisbon lemon tree, definitely got hit hard. Glad I picked all the fruit first. But uh, yeah, this one got this one got kissed by the freeze a little bit hard. He'll come back though. And then we got some more elephant food that died off. This little cactus did fine though. Uh, more spruce pine cone cactus just different amounts of Sun get different shapes and colors and all that this cactus perfectly fine okay what didn't do good is uh, lavender this is a lavender plant it's all grayed out and dead what you see green in there is um, Mexican primrose and that did really well this is it on this side right here got a little bit scorched on the ends but I mean you could see it's it's doing fine this little citrus is a uh, cara cara uh, red navel it's held up pretty good um, this poor citrus tree here is having a hard time Trevita orange I believe it is but uh, it didn't get hurt it's just uh, slow growing okay this is or was Wedelia it looked like that when it was alive and it got back from the frost 
Um, this little citrus here did okay. A little bit of damage, but not much. Um, okay, look at this, Morning Glory. This one has the white flower to it. Perfectly fine in the freeze. Um, okay, this one is Red Yucca. Not affected at all. These are the ones that have the, the big long shoots that come up and then the, the seeds are all right in there, those pods there. Um, Valencia Orange. No big deal. A little bit of a leaf drop. Morning Glory. Okay. Look at Lavender. Totally bit the dust. Except for a little bit right back there. We'll leave them in. We'll cut them back. Um, in a month or two. When it warms up. And uh, they should be fine. They should grow back. <clears throat> yeah, it's still cold out here right now. Let me take it to this side. Okay, Star Jasmine. No problem. Although I really have to do something with it. And get it against that wall a little better I don't know I might take it out it makes such a nice fragrance though in a flower um, but unaffected and Eureka lemons completely unaffected in fact we're even getting some um, flowering action going on this is a uh, cat's claw vine got it got hit a little bit if it was more established I think it'd be no big deal there's another Eureka doing fine and these are in containers not even in the ground you got a little bit of cactus going on here weren't touched weren't affected um lady banks rose not affected at all going pretty good actually all right now we got great big cactus here totally unaffected here's a different kind pad cactus not affected and let me stick it over this wall and show you that is a uh, I think it's a bear's lime and yeah I got scorched at the top I'm trim back down it'll do fine there's some more cactus right there it did okay and uh, some transplanted elephant food a little bit made it and a little bit didn't so, and you know what? Take a look right here. Fairy duster. It got a little bit burnt, but uh, the majority of the plant held up pretty good. Uh, there's some ideas on some plants. Um, let's see what else held up pretty good. Well, Bacatillo, he got a little bit scorched. But uh, he's, he was a good one, good choice. Take a look at this tree though. I'm telling you, it was cold. All those leaves are dead. And you can see right here the tops, the neighbor's trees. They all got fried. It was cold. I will get the garden up and running again though, real soon. Right here, laying out the foundation for some new beds. That'll be nice. Get those fixed up. And put both compost piles right in there. It'll really be nice and organic.